Welcome back. This episode, we are going to take our application that we've created, our little Hello World application, and we are going to take it and run it on an actual physical Android device. Now, you can't actually see the device, but if you watched the previous episode, you would know that I have an Android device, and I'm going to plug it into the USB uh, cable thingamajig, and we're going to see what happens. Now, this here is an emulator. That's going to work for the majority of our development, but as we get closer to release, you want to test it out on physical devices. So, also the emulator allows you to try on more devices so you don't have to go buy tons and tons of different cell phones with different versions and different sizes and so forth. Uh, so, forth. so what we're going to do is we're going to go over into Android Studio and what we're going to do is click the drop down here and you can see it says Pixel 3a which I taught you how to install in the episode before the previous episode. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug in my phone. So I plug in my phone, it does a little buzz thingy-majig, and it said unknown device for a second, and then it popped up with Samsung, some other junk. So that is the device that we're going to run on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click run app. All right, so we went to the build. So you can see the process here. It takes forever. And then it popped up on my phone, and it says hello world. So that's all you have to do to run this on Mac on the computer and Android on the device. If you're on Windows, you might have to do a little bit of extra work. You can see this is a guide on installing USB drivers. So you might need to go to computer management and then device manager and do all this other stuff. Uh, if, if for some reason it's not working, you might need to do this process here and make sure you follow the appropriate operating system, probably Windows 10, but just in case you're on Windows 8, or Windows 7, you might need to do it a little bit differently. All right, so that is how you develop and try it out on your device. It works exactly the same way as this emulator, but it's on a physical phone, so it's a little bit more realistic. Thank you, guys. Be sure to subscribe and check out the next video because we're going to start building out some applications or at least learning some good concepts.